check this out we just opened our van door up and look what is literally right outside our van how cool is that With only one day left to explore Rocky Mountain National Park, we decided to finish out our time here by going on a scenic hike to an alpine lake. Actually, make that three alpine lakes. Emerald Lake Trail begins at the Bear Lake parking lot and takes you about two miles to the breathtaking Emerald Lake. Along the way, you'll also make stops at both Nymph Lake and Dream Lake, which are beautiful in their own rights. We've now done quite a few hikes inside Rocky Mountain National Park and they are all beautiful but this one has to be one of our favorites. Although it's not super long coming in at under 4 miles round trip, it packs in amazing views the entire way. The trail seems to have it all from peaceful mountain streams, lush evergreen forests, snow covered mountains and of course epic lake views. As you can see from the video, even in the middle of June, parts of the hike were still covered with the snow, so you may want to bring your micro spikes if you have them, but it was doable without. We couldn't help but be awe-inspired though throughout the entire trail, and we also found ourselves being reminded of our reason for starting van life in the first place. When we first set out on this cross-country adventure, we did it with several motivations in mind. One was to see and experience as much of this beautiful country as possible. We had lived practically our whole lives in one single state and we realized that there's a whole world out there just beyond our fingertips waiting to be explored. We also set off however in search of finding meaning and happiness. Our pre-van lives were filled with lots of stress and anxiety and we realized that the times we felt most at peace was when we would vacation out in nature. And apparently we aren't the only ones. It's actually been scientifically proven that spending time in nature helps to reduce blood pressure, lower stress levels and cortisol, and can even improve your focus. Although van life is no walk in the park and brings with it lots of new challenges and struggles, it does allow us to see the world and spend more time in nature, and overall our mental health has dramatically improved. Which brings me to our third reason for starting this adventure, which is to motivate and inspire others to get out and explore as well. I know not everyone is in a position to move full time into a van, but hopefully we can convince you to visit someplace new, spend some time in nature, and just get a little bit outside your comfort zones. We made it to Emerald Lake. Yay! This entire trail was beautiful. It's probably one of our favorite hikes we've ever done thus far. Uh, it took us through three lakes, Nymph Lake, Dream, Dream Lake, Lake, and Emerald, Emerald Lake. Lake. Uh, and it wasn't too difficult, but there was just amazing beautiful views the entire way uh it was a little slick at parts with the snow and ice but 100 percent worth it if you come here you, make sure to do this hike <laughs> you would love it it's gorgeous and then just to top it off we just saw the most adorable little marmot and he came like right up next to us we were just chilling here sitting and he just walked He's within so, like five feet of us so fluffy and fat <laughs> super cute 10 out of 10 hike <laughs> Bro. Back up. <laughs> this is wild. You, 
think you got your other one coming to the left. They're surrounding you. <laughs> Yo, hey, get away from my camera, man. Sorry, buddy. You gotta, you gotta go. Let's get these burgers on the grill. After a hike, we went back to our campsite to cook some dinner and relax. As much as we love hiking and adventuring, we find some of our favorite moments happen here. Sitting around the campfire on a cool night, just laughing and enjoying good company. Sadly, our time in Rocky Mountain National Park had come to an end, but we still had a few days left in Colorado before heading on to Wyoming. And we still had a lot to look forward to because up next was a concert at our favorite music venue, Red Rocks Amphitheater. So we had a little bit of a chaotic morning today. Uh, Mark was driving because we're on our way to Red Rocks to see um, Stick Figure at the concert today. And somehow our water filter uh, shifted our jug here because we keep it up here. And it shifted and hit the water handle. So water was gushing as we were driving. And I happened to look back because I heard the noise and this bucket was full of water. Pretty much had a waterfall in our we, van. <laughs> it was sloshing around. There was water all over the counter and it was getting on the floor. We got the mess cleaned up, but it worked out because where did we end up? Uh, I just pulled over at like the next random parking lot to clean up and it happened to be a parking lot we were at two days ago when we were doing laundry and inside here there's this really good Indian grocery store and we stopped here the other day and bought like samosas and uh, baklava and it was super delicious and we've literally been talking about like we should go back sometime to get some more and this just happened to be the parking lot that was right here when we were cleaning up so we're gonna take that as a sign and focus on the positive and go get some baklava and uh yeah <laughs> <laughs> it's funny let's go these are so good they're addicting <laughs> we found the indian store right and they have samosas for sale so i'm gonna get some samosas so yummy i don't know what this is I'm not sure we love samosas so we're gonna get some samosas our final few days in Colorado were a whirlwind that seemed to fly by, but man were they some good times. First, we saw our all-time favorite band live at Red Rocks Amphitheater. For anyone who loves music, this venue should be a bucket list item because there is nothing else like it. Nestled amongst towering natural rocks, this venue creates the perfect acoustics while also giving incredible views. I'll save you all from watching the hundreds of videos we took here, but it was a truly unforgettable night. We then spent a day in Denver getting caught up on some video editing and also hanging out with our friend Tanya before heading south to Colorado Springs. Our first stop here was Garden of the Gods, a 480-acre piece of heaven located 70 miles south of Denver. This park, which is a designated national natural landmark, was donated to the city of Colorado Springs by the family of Charles Perkins in 1909 so that it could be appreciated and enjoyed by all for free. Here you will find enormous and beautiful rock formations which were created 65 million years ago. Walking through this park feels like you traveled back in time to when the dinosaurs still roamed, which makes sense because it's actually the location of where brand new species of dinosaur fossils were found. You'll find lots to do here though, including driving past the beautiful rock formations, hiking some of its many trails, bird watching, and even rock climbing. We consider it a must do activity, but it does get very busy later in the day, so we would definitely recommend to get here early if possible. After leaving Garden of the Gods, we made a quick stop at Santana's Vegan Grill to grab some food. This local restaurant blew us away and has probably been our favorite place we've eaten since starting this trip. I mean, just look at the size of this massive burrito. 
I ordered the steak tacos and Donna got this ginormous sausage breakfast burrito. We then finished it off with a cinnamon roll and a cookies and cream milkshake for dessert. Everything here was amazing and we cannot recommend this place enough if you're passing through Colorado Springs. Our last stop brought us to Pikes Peak, the second highest paved road in all of North America. This 19 mile road takes you through indescribable scenery as you climb to over 14,000 feet above sea level. It does require a ticket which can be booked online or in person at the gate for $15 per person. However, this can book up quick so we recommend to reserve it ahead of time online. It is 100% worth the cost though as words fail to describe how beautiful this drive is. Keep in mind the road is very steep and winding so if you prefer not to drive there is also a train that takes you to the peak as well. As you can see from the footage though the entire drive up to the peak is breathtaking as you make your way up to the visitor center and overlook. So right as we got to the summit of Pikes Peak all the clouds rolled in. Right behind us there's normally a beautiful view that you can just see for miles and miles but uh as you can see it's just clouds <laughs> so we're gonna hang out hopefully the clouds will roll through and we can get some views but uh, if not the view on the way up was incredible fortunately the clouds did eventually clear revealing a truly spectacular view we ended up spending over an hour up here at the peak just hanging out and enjoying the breathtaking views I think part of us didn't want to leave because we knew this was our last full day in Colorado and we were a little sad to leave behind this beautiful state. But Wyoming was calling our name and we knew there was still lots to look forward to. It's so it's cold! Here. <laughs> That's it for this video though, but thank you all so much for watching and supporting. We really do appreciate you all and can't wait to see you next video. Stay wild. trying to make them hold hands. <laughs>